Well, hi guys, it's Vicki Jean here with Vicki Jean Wilson Art, in which I help you create art that you love. And we are going to do a fun, quick style of watercolor. It's kind of intuitive painting where you don't have to really think much. You don't have to look off of anything. You're just going to paint with your heart and your soul. So this is kind of an abstract looking piece. And who knows what's going to happen. I know what colors that I'm going to use, I believe, I think. But we'll have to wait and see. But what I'm using, I have a 5x7 sheet of watercolor paper. I've already taped it down to my work table here. I have watercolors, a variety of colors, and they're in my pans. And I have water, of course, clean water. I've got paper towels. I've got mainly the one brush I'm going to use is a number six round. This is a quick, fun painting that I want to show you how to do. Uh, it's a Sunday afternoon here and I just want to relax. I was busy this morning doing some things and I just want to relax and just not think about anything, right? Not think about any troubles or anything and just have some fun putting some colors upon the paper. So I've also got my nice fall drink, which is a uh, pumpkin spice tea, and it's pretty yummy. So we're going to get started. I'm not even going to sketch anything out uh, this time. I'm just, usually I do have some sketching that I do, but you know, since we're just kind of free forming it, we're just going to go with it. Now we're going to use a, what, a technique called wet on wet on some of this. So what I think I'm going to do is just create an imaginary line here with water, which of course you can't see. But I'm just adding some water here with my brush on dry paper. With a clean brush and just kind of making a half circle here. And then you're going to see here why I'm doing that. Now I'm going to do the center of a sunflower and you know because most of my colors on my sunflower will be kind of a yellow, we're going to use another color that's going to brighten up that yellow. You're going to see here what it is. You see how I'm just dropping? Look at that beautiful violet color. Just dropping that around. I want it to kind of create its own little fun event there. Now I think what I'm going to do to kind of give it some balance, I'm going to add another flower down here. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm adding water right here. So my flowers are going to be kind of coming off the edge of the paper which is what I want. And this is called wet on wet, where I am painting water first on my paper. And then I'm going to apply some pigment to it. So I'm gonna dip back into that beautiful violet that I had created. Just adding it in different places. And we'll see what happens. Got some music in the background. Just not thinking. I just don't want to think. I just want to play on this painting. Not really thinking about anything. See how the paint is kind of blooming out? Well, I want that for this. I have no problem having it do that now. So as you can see, we have two half circles here. One might be a little bit larger than the other one. And that's fine. I, I actually like that. This one looks, because it's smaller, a little bit farther away. This one looks, because it's larger, a little bit closer. That's just what happened. I didn't really plan it. So we're going to dip into some uh, blue here. I think we're going to use a little bit of a 
phthalo blue. Let's see what happens. While this is still wet, add some blue in places. So it's, it's pretty wet, actually. But I'm just creating more depth in my painting. I don't know where it's going to go. What direction. Just when I feel like moving that brush different places, it's just going to move. It's creating some different effects. <clears throat> Fall is upon us for sure. Woke up this morning and it's like burr. Get into uh, some uh, Indian yellow here. Like I said, I'm not wanting to think about this, I'm just playing. Now, because this is still damp around here, I don't want to get up next to that. Normally, I would let that dry. If I do get too close, you're going to, like I probably just did, then it's it's going to have some different colors mixed into the petals. And actually, I'm, I'm fine. This is, like I said, this is just a fun painting. Just letting it kind of go as it wills. Create the petals that I want to create. Create the shapes that I want to create. No right or wrong. Just fun. Sometimes when you have a lot of things on your mind or you just want to just relax, this is a fun activity. If you have any kind of... Uh, paints. You don't have to get the most expensive by any means. You know, we'll tell you there is a difference, of course, in uh, student grade or artist grade paints, but you know, if you're new to this, I don't ever recommend anybody buying expensive paints to start off with, but you don't know how you're going to enjoy it if you are or you're not it's hard to tell mix up some more of that Indian yellow here I'm just letting it do its thing Having the, the brush just kind of dance upon the paper. Just having fun. I'm not worrying about anything. Not worrying about if it's right or wrong. I don't have any kind of setup here. I'm just doing this from my heart and soul just to enjoy the process.
having a brush dance upon that paper. Pretty color combination, isn't it? Now, while the petals are uh, still a little bit damp, I am going to get into some yellow ochre here. I'm going to mix it with the rest of that Indian yellow that I had left. Add a little few layers of some dark shades here. Trying to create some depth in the painting just quickly. Not thinking about it, just doing it. I teach others how to do painting like this and other types of painting with acrylics too. I give classes. I give classes at various locations and at your location. Ever want to have a paint night? Girls night out? Fun thing to have, it's a fun thing to do. Just keep adding a few layers at a time. some darker shades and mid-tones too. See how much that changed it by adding just that extra layer there compared to this one? It's, uh, it's amazing how just the smallest thing that you do sometimes creates such an impact in your paintings. regular shapes add some warm sepia to that mixture that I have left here to see how the colors mix together. I'm just letting my brush just kind of dance. Dance around the way it wants to. some cobalt violet here. I'm gonna get a little crazy now. I'm 
Just because I think it'd be fun. Mixing it around. Now this is pretty well wet on wet. I'm just kind of you you don't you have to be kind of careful. You know, I know like I said, this is just a fun painting, intuitive type painting today. But you do have to be a little careful and let things dry in between, but we're just doing a lot of wet on wet and seeing what happens. And a few just different colors here and there. Pulling in some of that color at the bottom here of uh, right through here, and it's kind of mixing in with the uh, because this is some of this area is wet, and now I'm adding another layer. It's kind of mixing in, kind of creating some interesting effects. Bringing in a little bit of that violet into the petals. I don't want to do a lot of that, but I do like some of that, the way it's creating. See how it's pulling in here? Very pretty. Let's add some over here too. Maybe a little bit down here. It's there's like I said, no right or wrong. We're just having some fun. Doing some painting watercolor today. I wanted you to kind of follow along with me as we were playing today. Don't want to do a lot of the black, but just a few. It's kind of a gray, actually. Just a few places. Create a little bit of drama.
I'm trying to create more blooms on here, which is created by putting, as you can tell, some more paint on top of paint, stamp. Sometimes you don't want that, a lot of times you don't want that in your art, but in this case, I kind of like the looks of it, especially for this area right here, this where the seeds would normally be. some of that off if I think I get it too dark. Might just see what that's going to do here. Move this around a little bit more. Bright lemon yellow. A few places here to kind of brighten that up. just to play. We as adults, we don't do that enough. Kids do it all the time. Well, they should do it all the time. If they don't, they should. <laughs> just kind of lifting a little bit the places that I maybe got, if I thought got too dark. And I do that by taking a damp brush clean brush, trying to get it clean, and see how it just kind of lifts off some of that paint. Well, this has been a fun, intuitive type painting, just kind of playing with paints. Playing with the movement, seeing what they can do. It's fun. I think watercolor is relaxing to me when you when you do it like this. And just have fun with the medium. Let the colors mix together, flow together, do their thing, right? Where we're not even thinking about anything and just enjoying what we're what we're doing. So another thing I'm going to do is add just I'm going to dampen parts of this background here. You don't want to really get into the uh, petals. Just a little bit in that area there. Bring in some very light a sepia color. It can be a little bit through there. Trying not to get into any of the petals, touch the petals yet, but I do like the uh, mix, just a soft background. So it 
little bit of tiny bit of some green. Add a touch of sepia to that. And give the appearance of maybe some leaves. Let it kind of mix around. I'm just kind of wiggling my brush around, as you can tell. Not really any certain way. A little bit down here. And I think we're going to call it a day on this one. Let it dry pretty. Maybe add a touch of that little, little bit of green left over here and there. To the petals. It's pretty in that green, isn't it? Okay, my friends, there we are. We did a quick few minutes intuitive painting, doing some sunflowers. I hope you like it. This is Vicki Jean with Vicki Jean Wilson Art, in which I help you create art that you love. Bye-bye.